because I realized I, I could say lots of things now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. And then you could come back. Wow. And yeah, that was yeah. It. You, that got much, you got much deeper. You, you started saying the same things you said in English, and then you explained them with like, and your eyes yeah. started glowing. There's a lot more yeah. and, uh, passion. So, so, so we yeah. take the German one and subtitle it in English. Yeah. It will yes, have yeah. much greater impact. Yeah. Right. yeah. And do you, uh, have, you have experience working with corporate groups? Um, not yet, no. Okay. So um, then let's talk about the... Uh, your experience at the Academy. Mm -hmm. uh, so the Temos Academy is really a chance for people who've been through the Temos experience to build up their skills as facilitators. Um, and uh, it, it's really, uh, actually, it's, it's actually really um, taking our personal development to the next level in a lot of ways. Uh, so, so for, for me, like the, the, key, the key parts are really getting to understand the Temos model, the Temos structure, and how to effectively bring people through a, a very positive, warm uh, environment that allows them to make connections with their innermost challenges and find opportunities for learning and growth at a pace and, and, uh, and depth that feels comfortable for them. And uh, personally, since you've been through several of those experiences, how, how have you found that the your background now with Timnos has impacted your life, your daily life, both professionally and personally. Yeah, I, I would say I've gone through a, a personal transformation without question. Um, Gandhi said, be the change that you want to see, and that's certainly true for me. I think um, Timnos at, at, a, at a personal development really lets uh, me be in a place where I can have uh, deep empathy and compassion for the people and the organizational systems that I'm working with, um, which is, you know, I mean, people don't remember what you say, but they remember how you, they, you made them feel. And really sort of co-suffering and, and being able to make that connection has just been profound. And for, for me to get there and be in a place where I can really help people and companies in this way, uh, it really meant that I had to embrace myself and really find uh, self-kindness and love for myself. Um, and that sounds like really kind of sort of soft, mushy stuff, but that's really at the core of it, that we need to feel good about ourselves and as whole human beings in order to really help other people become become whole human beings and build the kind of work environments that really will sustain and help us lead to great outcomes and great success and lasting legacies. Uh, and for your personal life, mm -hmm. Um, as far as your family or your friends, have you seen impact on, of your work in Temenos with, on your relationships? Yeah, uh, so, so uh, a big part of Temenos is this notion of a, of a container. Think of every relationship as a, as, a, as a really important connection. And so that means I started thinking about things, well, what's my vision for this relationship? What are the things that I do to make this relationship really work well and help it take it, me towards my vision? And what are the things that I do to sabotage it? And just this, just this subtle awareness suddenly has really shifted opportunities for helping me really get to what I want with relationships that I have. And this, this sort of sense of calmness and self-kindness has allowed me to really listen almost for the first time. And that, that's really been transformational. I remember this great, um, great, great thing that I noticed that something was going on in me where I delivered a training and content wise it was not very good. I, it was, I mean I do generally a very, very good job, but this was just okay. But the difference was that in my heart, I really actually had a sense of compassion and caring for people, and I got all perfect reviews. And it was like, this was like the external world telling me that, that this switch had happened inside, and that this, you know, this who knows, you know, if you care about people, they actually like, really like it. And I think that we need more of that in the world to really kind of create the communities, the company, the, the, the places that would really foster us and, and make for a better world. Great. Thank you. Um, are there is there anything else that you'd like to add about the benefits or outcomes or unusual or unique aspects of Keminos? Um. Yeah. Yeah. There is. You know. So one really important aspect of of Temenos is creating authentic connections with other human beings, 
And I know Brene Brown has talked a lot about this through research around shame. And that, um, you know, for me, Temros is a way for people to have an environment where they can actually talk, perhaps for the first time in their lives, about some of the things that are really, really hanging over them and shaping their realities. And that profound sense of being able to start practicing vulnerability in a safe place and start having authentic connection has a transformative healing effect. Uh, and it's not like, you know, the people facilitating do this. It's that everybody creates an environment where people are, are, are where everyone is fully present and where people are really hurt, perhaps for the first time in their life. And that has this wonderful, wonderful emergent healing property that really can help people get unstuck in their lives and move forward. I've got one comment. Um, mm -hmm. 